Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation, just as visible light is. However, microwaves have a longer wavelength. It's about an inch in the case of these particular emitters. And so um, our eyes are not sensitive to them. We can't see them. On the other hand, we can make the microwaves do things that visible light does as well. One of them is called interferometry. We have a setup here where there's a source of microwaves, a partly transmitting mirror. If I come down a little bit further, another partly transmitting mirror. And here we have a detector. What I'm going to do is keep that mirror where, it, where it's located. And I'm going to move this one right here. And I'm going to look at how the signal that I record on the detector changes as I move it. So I'm going from a minimum to a maximum to a minimum to another maximum and another minimum. And every time I go from one maximum to the next, that's a difference in path length here of half a wavelength. What this apparatus does, and it's called a Fabry-Perot interferometer, is it sets up standing wave patterns between here and there in the same way that you can set up standing waves in a vibrating string. And by doing this, we can accurately measure the wavelength of these microwaves. It turns out to be about one inch, which means all I have to do is move this mirror by half an inch in order to get this change from a maximum to a minimum back to another maximum.